Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So I hope you enjoyed today's painting and give me a thumbs up if you do and hit the subscribe button. We're painting, or I am painting, um, daisies in a glass vase. Enjoy! Okay, so I'm using the same palette I used yesterday for painting the hydrangea. So it's a bit messy, but I'll point everything out to you. I've got titanium white, cad yellow light. This is raw sienna. That's a bit of raw sienna, but it's gone a bit hard. Um, raw umber, ultramarine blue, taylor blue. This is sap green, taylor green, and alizarin crimson. That's my usual palette when I'm using um, water mixable oils, which is what I mostly like to paint with. I also use acrylics, but generally those are either for seascapes, in my opinion, or um, I like to do abstracts. I haven't done an abstract in a long time. So anyway, that's my palette. Bit messy, apologize for that. And the air conditioning is going, so my air handler is just across in my laundry room and it's kind of noisy so I apologize for that too. So I thought today I would paint daisies and maybe some yellow daisies and white daisies. Um, I might put them in a vase. So let me see. I'm going to use some sap green and ultramarine. Give me a nice like dark color. And I'm going to just put in my stem so I know where everything is. Um, we'll do it in odd numbers because it's more pleasing to the eye. One, two, three, four. Oops, that's my phone, sorry. Five, six, what should we do? Seven, there we go. So those are the stems, or an indication of stems. They're not entirely finished. We've got to put light and darks on those. And I think I'm going to do a glass vase today. So we'll sort of sketch in the glass vase. Roughly. Um, that's kind of big. So I'm going to take that out again a little more. I'm just going to refine that. I think that's better. Yes, I do think that's better. It doesn't matter, this can be part of the background now. There are no mistakes when you're painting. You can correct everything, no matter what medium you're using. All right. So I'm going to actually paint a background to this. So I'll start it off and then uh, I won't show you the whole thing because it's boring. But I'm going to start it off with some ultramarine blue and some Taylor blue. I'll just put it on like this and then I'll go in with some titanium white and lighten it up. I like to have some Taylor blue and some um, Taylor green in my background because it makes the picture pop and lately that's what I like to see. I don't um, do it every time but I'm kind of in love with that at the moment. Okay, so I'll be back when that's done. 
Okay, so I'm going to put some white on. I'm just going to show you what that does. It um, makes it opaque it, because it's quite transparent, this paint, when you first put it on. So if I add the white to it, it becomes opaque. Okay, I'm going to finish that and then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so you can see the background is more or less sort of scribbled on. And I want to say that this is not how I paint every day. Um, it's just today I feel like painting like this. So you can ring up the changes. You don't have to paint in one style all the time. Have fun. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I get these, um, I think they're called kabuki brushes, that's what I call them anyway, from the dollar store, dollar tree actually. And I'm going to use it to, just in circular motions, just blend it all in. And you can see I've lost my stems, they're, they're faintly there in the background. I kind of like that though. I think that's a good start. So, I'm going to use, uh, if I can find it, a small round. And I'm going to put my stems in again. And I'll use some um, raw sienna. That's what I'm going to do. I can faintly see them. I had one here and I can sketch out the bottom of my vase. That's good. I have another one here. That's three, four, five, um, six, seven. Don't Count the, um, that's my cat jumping up, and the air handler coming on again. Don't count my stems in the vase because they all get jumbled up and distorted by the glass anyway. I try to get it as symmetrical as possible, which I usually can only do if I'm um, doing a sketch first. But sometimes I like to do this just paint straight on the canvas without planning. It's fun, it's freeing. I like that. Now I think I'm going to have four yellow daisies, uh, four yellow daisies and, th and um, three white ones. And I think that the white ones will have um, green heads and the yellow ones will be like black eyed Susan. One, two, three, four. Those will be the black eyed Susan. I get stuck on the same brush, so I have to wash it out thoroughly, but it's not hard with water mixable oils. Um, so I'm going to mix some sap green and some cad yellow light gives me a nice green and I'm going to put in the heads of my yellow daisies one two three okay we're cooking with gas Okay, so today I think I might work on the stems first and I'm using some of that green that I mixed up with the cad yellow and sap green 
and I'm going to um, strengthen my stems with that. I have no idea where it actually goes in here it's once it hits the bars. It doesn't really matter. It's not important, nothing to be worried about. Just put some yellow, uh, green where you think it needs some. And I like that. And I might put some of that green around the edge of my bars. I like to mix my colors all over my painting here. Yeah. Whatever I've got on my brush, I'll dab it um, somewhere on the painting to make it cohesive. That's what I find it does. It brings everything together if you've got all the colors everywhere. I know a lot of people don't paint like that, but hey, this is how I paint. Okay, so I'm going to use um, some Lizarin Crimson, I think. And I'm going to put a shadow side on. I'm a bit of a stick in the mud. I almost always make the light go in that direction. And I might change it up one day. But today, I'm going to stick with putting the shadow on this side of the stem with the alizarin crimson. I like getting a lot of different colors in my paintings too. I'll do all the tops first and then I'll work on whatever in the bars itself. My cat is jumping around me today. Um, there'll be reflection and distortion in the glass. So although you see these stems quite well now, as I go on, they will become, they will disappear a little bit here and there, not everywhere. I like that, but I think it needs, oh, I missed one. I think it needs some light on it too. So I'm going to use a little titanium, let me show you this, and some cad yellow. Can you see that? And um, maybe a tiny bit of the green in there. Okay. Let's put some light on these. Just a tiny line. A little too much water in my brush. It's dribbling, but that's okay. We can fix that. And I'm going to put that around. Here also. Okay, so we're coming along. So I'm going to start on the daisies first and I've mixed a tiny amount of ultramarine blue as a hair in there, but I have pets. Um, little raw sienna and titanium white and I've got this sort of grey colour. You can see if I put a dab here the difference between the white and the grey and this is what I call my mid-tone and I usually like to work in mid-tones and then add the 
the shadows and the lights to that as I go along. So these are my three daisies and um, how should I do this? This one I think I'm just going to put some little petals on that side and then I'm going to stroke in some larger petals on this side and it picks up the green too. It's one of the things I love about working with water mixable oils is the colour mixes right on the canvas and I love that. You never know what you're going to get. We've lost the centre a little bit but that's okay because we'll just um, work on that. Okay, so you know they're taking the form of daisies, aren't they? Let's put some little ones in on that side. It's sort of foreshortened, you're not seeing that side as well. Okay, it's a start. Now I'm going to do the same and take some cad yellow light and mix in with that grayish color, maybe a little raw sienna. Bring it down so you can see it's not as bright as the straight cad yellow light. I might even put a touch of raw umber in there. I don't want to get too dark though. That's pretty good. That could be a midterm. Okay, so let's do some little ones on this side. Oops. See what I mean about mixing colour straight on? I picked up the um, raw umber that I used for the centre. All these get adjusted as we go along. Getting a little too dark now. I think this could have been rounder. I've picked up so much raw umber. I'm going to mix in more yellow, cad yellow. Okay, so I'm going to stage they're like skeletons of themselves. We have to work on them and fill them out. Okay. I like that. I'm mixing some sap green in with this um, cad yellow and um, I'm going to put in some leaves. I'll put like a couple in here. Maybe something that you see out this side. Not sure what daisy leaves look like. I have to look it up. 
But for today, we're going to have pretend leaves. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. All right. So I'm going to put on more petals on the daisies and make them a little brighter. Doesn't matter if I go over the other ones or in between them, it all adds to the texture of the painting. I like a painting to look like it's got some paint on it and I know a lot of the um, paintings you see in the stores now are really prints that have um, a polyacrylic or an acrylic finish over them and they do it with brushes to make, you, make it look like they are brush strokes and they're not really because they just don't match up with the print. That's what they used to do anyway, I might be out of date. Okay, we're coming along. That's looking better. Okay, we're going to mix some titanium and yellow and do the same for the daisies. quite humid out there today so the air conditioning is coming on quite frequently. Oh, what am I doing? That's a silly thing to do. I've put yellow on my daisies. That's okay. Just rinse out my brush. I was thinking about the air conditioning and not the daisies. That's okay. We'll just go back in over them. It might even add to it. Look at that. Not too bad, is it? Okay. Day, uh, yellow daisies. That's what we want to do. See if I can do this again. I'm going to work on this one. And while I've got that yellow on, I think I'm going to put a little yellow on the leaves too.
only where it would hit the light, maybe. As you go, put the lights and darks and in the same colors on your vase because that's how you make glass look glassy. It picks up color, it picks up light and it all needs to be in there. Okay so I've got um, sort of yellowy white with a hint of blue in it. I might put a little tailor blue in it. What color does that make? Oh, look at that, that's nice. It's almost an aqua color. Can you see? And I'm going to edge my vase. Start getting some light in my vase. It doesn't matter if the colours get a little mixed up and blurry, that's what glass is all about. Another um, trick is to take a dry brush and sort of pull the colour around a bit, make it even more blurry. It doesn't look much like glass now, but it will soon. Um, I'm taking my quarter inch flat, which I can only find one of at the moment, and I'm going to put some Taylo Blue and titanium white and I'm going to sort of put a patch on here suggestive of light coming through maybe a touch of green too what do you think Pull it round. It's getting slightly glassier. I like to um, work on my painting um, evenly all over. I don't like to develop one area. Um, at the expense of somewhere else and I, uh, I'm putting dark um, sap green on the backs of my leaves the side that doesn't get the shadow actually that's not dark enough so I'm mixing sap green with some ultramarine just to put a little dark in here You need the darks to contrast with your lights, otherwise you get a boring painting. Make sure that you have those darks in the vase as well. They don't have to be very detailed, it can be very indistinct.
distorted by the reflection, distorted by the glass itself. What are you doing? My cat, it's, I think he's lonely or something today. He's staying close by, jumping up and down, distracting me. I've got to put um, a little sap green around the center of my daisies to give them depth. I think I've lost it with that one altogether. Okay, so make it a little darker around this side. See, it makes it look a little rounder, doesn't it? There we go. It's coming along. Now, here I have a big gap in the middle here with nothing going on. So, I think I'm going to put more daisies in. Another yellow one there. A white daisy here. and another white daisy here. Okay. Let me get this right. So I've mixed up my midtone for the daisies and I'm going to stroke those petals in. Same here. Doesn't matter if they overlap what's already there. What are you doing? He's scratching himself a bed in my shelves. I think I should have a yellow one here. That would be, how many did I get to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That would be 10. Okay, maybe one here. And one here. yellow ones. All oh, right. You're being very distracting this morning, Twin. I think that looks better. I might put another leaf going over there. It's my dog snoring. I've got a dog Tommy too. I like that better. And I still have to work on all those daisies. They still need more light and more darks, possibly. And, but my vase looks a little better now. I've got more flowers in it, I think. I definitely like that better.
so I'm going to put some titanium white and give myself more light on the vase. My little trick for making glass look more glass-like is to put in the reflection of a window or window panes. I think it helps a lot. I don't know what other people do. Tommy stops snoring. It's getting there. I'm going to put some colour down this edge. It's definitely getting there. Okay, so I've strengthened all my yellow daisies and I lost the center of that one. And um, I used straight cad light so you can see some of the darker petals peeping through. Oops, too much water. And it's some bits of background still showing, so I'm just going around those. Listen to that bird peeping outside. Um, so I will be putting more light using raw sienna, uh, more light using a titanium white and cad yellow, and also or more darks using raw sienna. It sounds like an alarm call that bird is doing, so somebody must be um, looking at in sideways. But they're, they're looking a little stronger, I feel, and I'm just going to put a little light on some of these leaves. A little more light on some of them. There's my cat. What are you doing? You cannot drink that water. It's got paint in it. Um, I'm pleased with the way it's coming along. 
and I think I'm going to um, I'm going to strengthen the white daisies next. hear my cat scrabbling around in the background. And there's my phone. I think I forgot a daisy here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I've got an even number. Look at that, without even trying, I managed to get an even number. And this one is totally wrong. I might get rid of that one altogether, so don't like it. And that gives me 11 altogether. definitely going to get rid of that one and I'm going to do it by um, putting a mixture of blues there and just painting it out I'm using my kabuki brush to sort of soften it in do a very good job. I think I need this one to be going this way a bit. I think that's a bit better. Perhaps we can see part of one down there. What do you think? I think that's pretty good. I'm going to use my food brush again.
It looks a little unbalanced now. So I'm going to put some colours in down here to suggest. That's pretty good. Just suggesting some more daisies in the background. It's an indefinite number of daisies, daisies. And this is not correct. That's a bit better, I think. Gosh, I'm really not good with um, eyeballing. Okay, believe it or not, I really think we're coming along. So while I've got some of this bluish on my brush, I'm going to just put in some shaded petals on this daisy. Because they're not catching the light at all. Same here. Some of these are getting a little bit of light. In here. Someone doing yard work outside again. So I'm going to put in these petals. paint on quite thick. I like to use thick paint. In changing things out, I lost some of my petals here. Whoops, too much water on my brush. So I'm going to put in petals here. picking up that very fresh blue so I'm struggling to get yellow on there
forgot to turn the camera on, but um, I'm putting on more light on my daisy um, centers. Oh my goodness, I'm having such a noisy day today. I've mixed up a paler yellow with titanium white and cad yellow light and I'm going to put some lights on here. I already started that and then realized I didn't have my camera on. Adding a little more light to the leaves. Might put one in here actually. How about that? I'll add some more green to those as well.
I think that's looking much more glass like and I'll put a little more blue it's almost dry brushing it on here I'm pretty pleased with that going to continue with the um, putting back in my dark centers on the yellow daisies. I keep losing them. supposed to be um, dark or was it supposed to be white? I'm not sure. Okay, it's, it's a yellow daisy now anyway. I went a little dark with that. I'm going to go over it with some green. That's better. using um, some sap green just to sort of darken around the base just makes that pop a little bit and I have to put more lights on these daisies Just putting it around the side that you see because we don't see this other side. And I'm mixing some yellow with um, raw sienna. And I'm just going to put a little light on the tops.
to do the same with these, but a little more light, just dabbing it on the on the very top of the center. Now the white daisies definitely need some help. That's ice dropping in my ice maker, if you heard that. I gave my dining room um, table away and have set up um, a table over some shelving units to paint on because it's a big space and I like that. My daisies are getting bigger by the second, but that's okay. Now I think I'm going to um, put in a little reflection So just a suggestion of a reflection really. And I'm going to put in just a, a little dark line under here. Doesn't need much. There we go. I actually think I'm quite happy with that. Um, I do think we could have a little more I 
I don't know. I'm never quite sure about reflections on on tables. I think that might be too much. There's a big hair in there. If you show the background through the jar, that makes it look a little more glass-like too. So this table or cloth or whatever it is I'm suggesting here has to show in that glass here in order to make it um, look more glass-like. I'm really pleased with the glass. Um, the daisies are okay. I don't think they're my best daisies. But they're pretty nice. It's quite a nice picture. And I think we're calling it a day at that. And if I, um, I don't think there'll be any changes to this one. We can always try it again. That's what I think. So if you enjoyed the video, um, please give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button to see more of my videos. And thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.